Hey guys, so, well it is a really nice day out. 66 degrees and later today it's supposed to get up to 75 degrees. So it's supposed to be really nice. So I thought this would be a good time to uh, get all the lawn equipment uh, running for the first time in 2015. And of course, like I always do, I'll do uh, two videos, two separate videos. One will be the lawn mowers and the other the echo equipment. So for this one, uh, the first part, I'm going to do the lawn mowers and the chipper shredder. I don't have the pressure washer out because obviously it's not a lawn equipment. So I won't do the pressure washer till probably either next month or April. Wait till warmer weather. Alright and so without further ado we'll get started here. And like always we'll do start out with the oldest to the newest. So the first one we'll start is the Lawn Boy 8461. This one is a 1986 model. I just put some gas in it. The fuel valve is already turned on. So this mower is 29 years old. Hard to believe it. This mower will turn 30 next year. So how I know that it's a 86 model is looking at the serial number right here. So there's the model number. It says there 8461. The serial number E239C0111. So the E indicates that it's a 1986 model. All right. Get y'all on the tripod here. We'll see how it starts. There we go. Oh yeah, I gotta love your old two-stroke lawn boys. Too bad they don't make them like they used to. Alright, so, next one. Next one, 1996 Lawn Boy 10533. This is a medallion series, shown right there. So this will be the last time y'all hear this thing running, if it'll start so I just dumped I just dumped a little bit of gas right through the fuel line to fill up the carburetor just enough for it to run and so look at the model number right here 10533 serial number is 69064000 so the 69 means that this is a 1996 model so, so I'm not going to worry about giving this thing back to my grandfather yet, just because both him and my grandmother, they're still uh, in the process of uh, getting that house that my great great aunt lived in just before she died, getting it all ready to be 
to sell so I'm not really in that big of a hurry let's give this thing to my grandfather yet let me get all positioned here alright I think this should work alright let's see what it'll That thing started up not too bad. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it usually likes to, to run best that full throttle so yeah I know some of y'all want to want me to fix it so I want to just say please stop telling me to fix this thing up okay so I'm just giving it back to my grandfather just because of width it just takes up some space and I wasn't the one that originally wanted this mower anyways. It was my brother, which he only played around with it only on the first day that my grandfather brought it over here and got it running and hadn't touched it ever since. So that's why it's, it's going. So, yeah. And the engine is a... I forgot to mention it's a five and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton overhead valve engine. So, yeah. All right, next one. All right, next one here. Yard Machines by MTD, ten horsepower chipper shredder. So this has a ten horsepower Tecumseh engine. So fuel valve is already turned on already got gas in it we'll see how this one will go Gotta love your Tecumseh engines. So this thing just runs perfect. Alright, next one. A 2003 Craftsman mower. So this is actually my dad's uh, Craftsman mower. Here's the model number on this one. This one here has the Honda GCV 160 engine. 
similar to on my pressure washer except the pressure washer has a GCV 190 engine but they're quite similar this one puts out around five and a half horsepower whereas the GCV 190 it probably puts out probably at least oh man probably roughly six and a half horsepower so about maybe one horsepower more all right so we'll see how this one starts A lot of smoke just because of with the deep creep in the engine that's just why it's smoking all right so now the other craftsman mower which this one's mine this is a 2010 craftsman easy to walk this one is front wheel drive self propelled this one's got a Briggs and Stratton engine this is the 675 series engine, rated at 6.75 foot-pounds of gross torque, 190 cc's, with electric start, and this has the uh, ready start system. This is uh, an automatic choke system on it, so no need to prime or manual choke. So for this one, all you do is just either pull the rope or turn the key. So this one was just running yesterday after I did it, did that compression test video. So it should start right up in no problem. Oh yeah, definitely depend on your Briggs and Stratton engines to start right up. This mower sounds sounds a whole lot like my grandparents' Husky lawnmower, which has a five horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine, similar to this. I don't know what the horsepower on this engine is. It probably puts out around maybe roughly six horsepower, or maybe six and a half, probably around there. And finally, my lawnmower that I spent my own money on. This is a 2011 Bonboy 10606. So this has a Kohler engine. It's the Kohler Courage XT6 engine. It's overhead valve. It is rated at 6.5 foot-pounds of gross torque, powered by Kohler 149 cc's with smart choke. So, a lot less cc's than this one. And I can just show you all the, the specs here. Yep, 10606. Serial number is 311004795. So, 311 on the serial number indicates that this is a 2011 model. So, four years old. Still looks almost like new because I like to clean it up every time after I use it. And this also has electric start, just like this one. And it has, of course, an automatic choke system, which Kohler calls it the smart choke. Which all you do is either pull the cord, or in this case, just turn the key.
cool. And just like on the Craftsman mower, this one's got deep creep into the cylinder, so it's that's why it's smoking quite a bit. And no, that's not oil burning or a blown head gasket, so it's all good. And so, yep. Yeah. So that's it for all the the lawn mowers and the chipper shredder. Okay, so now I'm gonna charge the battery here on my camera and we'll start up the echo equipment. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed the video and so thanks for watching.